Good morning, everybody. Eric Hoagland, General Contractor. I have got a really cool trick for you today. Real good tip, very inexpensive. So for everybody out there uh, who's uh, just trying to get a feel for epoxy, wants to do something small, or if a lot of your projects are in fact small, uh, cutting boards, things of that nature, uh, even coasters, uh, you know, anything like that along those lines, if you'd like to make a sample piece, so that you can take it around and show people, show your customers, uh, so they can see, touch, and feel. This is great. This is, you need to see this video. So as we all know, molds are very expensive. You know, something five inches tall, 20 inches long, you know, it could be a couple hundred dollars. Some of those molds are four and five hundred dollars just for 24 by 24 inches or something so really crazy priced uh not that they don't work but let me give you a really cheaper alternative to just about the same dimensions so all you need to do is go to walmart or anything like a walmart go to the baking section and right there where you see all the baking pans uh those are fabulous they come 12 by 18, they come 24 by 36, they come small, they come picture frame size. All you gotta do is pay the 10 to 15 to 20 bucks for those guys. There is your mold right there. Take that home, tuck tape that guy, drop your wood in and whammo. That easy. Very inexpensive, uh, really cool trick like I said. So watch this video pay attention to what i'm pouring um the resin into and you'll see it, it'll dawn on you oh my gosh i never thought about that so we just wanted to pass that information on uh again you can't get no better than that it's just a really cool really quick way make sure you tape it up and it's completely a hundred percent leak free i want to give a big shout out to pro marine supplies for making this video possible. You guys are awesome. For everybody else, watch this video and pay attention to the mold. You'll be glad you did. Welcome back everybody. Eric Hoagland, General Contractor. Um, so today is, uh, I've already put out a few today. We're doing another one. Um, going on to getting started on it. And uh, this one's really cool. This one's really flashy. So this is probably gonna be one of my favorites. Um, it's just a color you don't see every day. Uh, this is called UFO Green. It's a very, very vibrant green. As you can see, um, really gonna take well. And we're going to be putting some black tones in this guy. We're going to put some cell effects in him. We're really going to get this guy to hit really well. It may not be everybody's color, but it's definitely very pretty. Very different. So this was just some uh, scrap I had laying around, really nothing better to do. So I wanted to, um, this is definitely a flashy color. Um, we're going to end up doing a piece this same color. We just wanted to do a smaller version of it first. So 
So as you can see, <laughs> our green is just that. It is just as vibrant as ever, which is awesome. So similar, just like I did earlier with that copper, I'm gonna make some, we're gonna put a little black in here, if you will, and we're gonna get that guy to take shape. Just like earlier. Just through there like that. And again, you don't want to pour this in here. You're never going to be able to get those to try and do what you're wanting to. You just set that down, turn as you go, and it just, I'm not even touching the bottom. It's just fanning those in there. Just like that, and we just drag him wherever. And he's gonna end up mending and highlighting that. So there it is. I really love how the, the green turned out. I mean, it's super bright in person. Um, I think it's going to look really cool when I take it out and actually unbox it. But we just finished up, so this is where we're at. We've got those black tones in there that are kind of down inside. It's a lot easier to see it in person, uh, but it looks like they're down inside, that they just drop down inside. So it really kind of put that uh, marble vein, if you will, right in it uh, and just really... Really turned out really neat. So just another style of choice, another color. May or may not be your cup of tea, but definitely something pretty. As usual, thanks for watching. See y'all back real soon. Welcome back everybody. Eric Hoagland, General Contractor. So we've already got, um, most of you already seen this piece when I poured him. Uh, we've got him finished. He is, uh, he's ready to go. He's been clean. He's, we actually shaped our edges here on this guy. Um, but both sides are finished out, completely done. So we're getting ready to put our finish on him, uh, as usual. So these are walnut edges. So these guys ought to be popping pretty dark here. like usual so we'll make sure it gets good and saturated it's a little harder with smaller spaces right through Really want to get this nice and coated. Um, definitely, you want to get it coated. You know, kind of saturated is the is the best word there to use. Um, too lightly of a coat, and you're going to end up having to do this again. Too much, and you're just wasting it. Uh, so there's really a perfect line there that you can try to hit every time. 
to where you're not wasting a bunch of it and you're actually achieving what you're needing to do. We've got kind of 3D edges here, so just got to work that in a little better. enough left off that top to finish what I'm trying to do. Get that real good and slick. Alright, now we're just going to kind of clean up the top here <clears throat> just a little bit. really get that green to kind of come out. Just a really pretty finish. You don't have to like green to appreciate the vibrant color. So as I told you before in the last video, this is a uh, this is a piece we're getting ready to do for someone, and we wanted to do it on a smaller scale just to make sure that the customer loved it. I really like the way this has turned out. Just a really pretty finish. So we're going to let this guy soak here just a little bit. We've got him nice and saturated. And we are going to bring you right back and we're going to buff this guy out and flip him over and do the other side. But just to give you a look, he really turned out great. All the way through. Edge work, everything. So you can let the excess kind of sit there on the edge work. It ain't really going to hold, uh, hurt anything. Um... You just want to try to get this off within the next hour or two. Anything past that, it really starts to, uh, you got to get into buffing him a lot harder. And what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting past the Odie's oil, trying to buff him out. And then you're going to have to redo it. So saturated is the key word there to get that shine and to get that vibrant finish. Uh, let it sit on there for about an hour or two. And then you're going to come back and take a clean cloth. And we're going to buff this guy right out so he can be finished. So here it is. We've got it done. Um, we waited about an hour and a half or so. We buffed this guy all the way out. Turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, so this one here again, we had, we had took a router around the edges. Uh, they're going to want some shape to the top. So I'm just going to give you a really good view here of everything. You can see looking down the side how that guy really comes together. Take shape. Just as just as pretty and smooth as ever. Um, really hit real well. So I love how these pieces turned out. It really made that piece um, just love how the corners come together there. Just puts a little uniqueness to it. So, just wanted you to see what I see. I think the customer is going to be really happy when we make this on a bigger stage. So, I'm going to flip this guy. Just so you can see the other side. 
and it turned out just as pretty. So really hit in there well. Uh, looks very rich and full. There's the other side, how it hit. So just beautiful all the way around. And if you want to get creative, if you want to, you know, put lights in it or anything like that, you can really get that guy to hit and come to life. So just wanted to show you. This guy turned out really super awesome. We think she's going to love the big version of it. Would love to hear your thoughts. As usual, thanks for tuning in. See you real soon.